What's up, everybody? There's nobody watching yet. We're gonna go to a live video on a Friday evening because, well, because we can. I don't know, because uh, we have a problem. I, I have a problem, or my wife has developed a problem. I, look, it's like a explosion happened around here. I don't, I don't know what it is. My wife has never been like a plant flowers kind of gal. And uh, I let her go down to Kingston and hang out with Leon. Oh, pardon the interruption. We have to show Bear. Bear wants his attention. Huh. All right, there you go, Bear. So my wife said she wanted a little splash of color and we're gonna have a, a whole um, video about this in the morning anyways, but we're, gonna do, we're just gonna talk about it now because we're struggling here. I sent my wife to Leon to get some ideas, you know, because she didn't know what she wanted, but we weren't gonna tell her what she wanted sound advice if you saw that video and uh what is this four days in a row now four days in a row she's gone to leon's and every time she goes to leon's she comes back hang on let's walk around here and uh increases the jungle never mind that tub that's not staying but um yeah so a little splash of color for the patio <laughs> So we're, we're, we're making self-wicking tubs just like we did in the garden. So these are molasses tubs. Those are those look like ceramic pots, but they're not. But we'll talk about that in tomorrow's video. But we're just kind of chilling on the patio and hadn't done a live video and thought we would pop on here for a few minutes and, and see what was happening. Um, I know it's kind of early, at least here anyways. What time? 4.30? 4.40? Um, Emily's got a ball game later. I may sneak in the house in a minute. I... I told you guys in a video the other day that Emily was starting her little part-time business. And uh, for the summer, she, she loves baking. She loves baking cakes and cupcakes and cookies and all that stuff. And um, she decided she wanted to start a cupcake and cake business. And she's got her first, her first no official order, order is um, going down in the kitchen right now. She's making a lemon cream cheese cake. I'm sure it's gonna be good, even though we don't get to taste it, but it's for my uh, Aunt Elta. She's one of the, the people that come take care of the stuff for us. I don't know if you guys can hear that goofy goat. Gosh. We got a goat that's lost and she can't find her mama. Anyways, uh, Elta comes out and takes care of everything and she ordered a cake from Emily, so that was her first official order. And I'm telling you what, you guys. Howdy from Pensacola. Oh. No. Here, you just wanna you just wanna address that for a minute? No. Someone's in Pensacola right now. I don't. Watching you in Oklahoma. Oh. Can you go to the beach for me? So <laughs> I can see it. Uh anyway, so Emily's little business is is up and running and you guys, you know, I ask you guys to go over and follow her on Instagram at uh M's Cupcakes. Or is it or Emma's M's, M's Cakes. M's Cakes. E M M apostrophe S. Yeah. Cakes. M's Cakes. And um, she has been blown away. It's like the most exciting thing. You know, she's a little girl and she gets very excited over that, you know, kind of stuff. And you guys, she's got like, um, what, 300 mm -hmm. followers on Instagram. And uh, she's just so excited about it. But I don't know what's wrong with that goat. You guys see him up there? There's two of them. <laughs> they got separated. I guess they were napping. Anyways, so Emily's excited. We may walk in the house in a minute and see how she's doing on her cake. I know she was trying to get the icing on it a minute ago, so maybe she'll get done. Anyways, so yeah, uh, my wife has uh, decided to nope. decorate the patio with about 400 flowers. Look at there, Ed Kirkpatrick, $20 super chat. Sounds great for me. Hello from Georgia. Appreciate it, Ed. Thanks a lot. I'm going to move this up a little higher. Look at this little... What, oh, what is this? She, she came so home with cute. this. And it's a tire. Hobby. It's so cute. Anyways, I think she's got some succulents she wants to put in that. Is that right? Yep. That's, that's my plan. Okay. And Emily is like, for whatever reason, she's really excited because her mom bought an aloe vera plant. <laughs> you know, when I was growing up as a kid, everybody's grandma had like these huge aloe vera plants. And if you got a bug bite, if you got a burn, if you got sunburn, aloe vera was like the cure-all for everything. And it's just kind of gone away it still works obviously it's not changed but emily has been watching some youtube videos and apparently there's like this thing where they, they like a youtube video challenge where they eat an aloe vera leaf it's weird 
But apparently but she wants to try well, it. Leon said we could juice it, too. He told me not to tell Daniel. He said just throw it in his juice and he'll never know. Well, I'm but not against it. I know, but I don't know how it tastes. It probably doesn't taste like much. Anyways, so what else? What all is up? Let's see. Hello from Tampa. Northeast Florida. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. it's crazy how many followers we have from Pensacola, the whole panhandle of Florida, all over Florida. I guess because we've probably got about, I don't know, 12 or 15, maybe 20 videos from Florida. So we've accumulated quite the following from there, and it just uh, kind of bugs my wife. <laughs> so It does. I wish we were just a... A smidge closer. Yeah, you know, we always kind of talk about it. If we lived there, if we lived there, and every time I talk about that on our channel, everybody's like, don't do it, don't do it. You'd hate it. You'd hate the beach. You'd hate everything. It would be nice if we were oh, like Dutch, a little you. bit closer. Look at there. He had to one-up oh, Ed. yeah. Placing my order for M's Cakes for October. Mm. Dutch will have to bring those with his, uh, with his pork he's bringing us. One. So, Dutch, thanks for the super chat, buddy. I appreciate it. Let's see. I'm going to get back to Dutch here. We'll talk about him in just a second. Another super chat for $2. Uh, GSP for life. This is for Houston. He's the coolest kid. <laughs> yeah, he thinks so, too. Houston, Houston would agree with that. Uh, so, anyways, I don't know if you guys, um, of course, most of you probably know Dutch from Keeping It Dutch. He's a good friend of ours. And uh, he finally talked... Premier one into sending him some new fencing because his uh, his his pig pen was um, falling down. If you guys have watched any of his old pig videos, so he's got all new electric netting for his uh, pigs this year for from Premier One, and it's pretty cool because it's real short. Looky there, Ed Kirkpatrick, fifty dollar oh super gosh. chat. Holy moly! Uh. I don't even know what to say, Ed. I I appreciate it. You, Ed Ed was the guy at the meet and greet. He drove from uh, Georgia to Oklahoma to the meet and greet. And Leon was raising money for a scholarship thing and he's trying to do these scholarships for kids. He said, take that Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Leon said, hey, I'm gonna auction your hat off and donate the money to our scholarship fund. And he just kind of takes my hat and starts auctioning off and, and Ed bought the hat and it was kind of cool. I don't even remember what it went for, but I think like $140 total. Yeah, Someone else don donated some money. Anyways, it was just for, for fun. So Ed's a great guy. I really appreciate you. Anyways, back to Dutch. So he's got um, all new setup for his pigs this year in its electric um, pig netting from Premier One. And it's pretty cool because the stuff's only like, I don't know, maybe two feet tall. You can step right over it. Look at there, Lake Hubbard. That is a $20 euro pound is it what is it i'm not sure i don't know what that symbol is from what country that's from but there's been two super chats jade united fire kingdom. united kingdom from the uk yep. sweet we've got people watching yeah, from all over the world crazy so anyways dutch has uh several pigs and he came down and went deer hunting on our farm last year brought his daughter hayden and she killed two deer and took lots of meat home and uh, this year he's gonna come back, but I think the goal here, the plan here is we're gonna trade out. He's raising the pigs, I'm raising the deer. So I haven't started feeding the deer for him yet, but before Hayden and him or whoever he brings down gets here, we'll have a, we'll have a deer nice and uh, well fed for him. But uh, I had talked to Joe from Premier One when he was at the meetup, and uh, I, I think we're gonna try to do some of that pig netting around some, some deer plots. So here in Oklahoma, we have a really bad problem with wild pigs or feral hogs. They tear up your deer plots, they tear up your deer feeders, and uh, <gasps> we're gonna try a little uh, experiment around a deer feeder to see if that'll keep the, uh, keep the uh, pigs out. So Red Neckerson Resales, $2.01 Super Chat, says, I'm in Pensacola, but I wanted to meet y'all. Well, I'm sorry. I, I, I really did consider having a meetup. Hang on. Got a creeper. Someone snuck out here. Hey. How's your cake going in there? Well, I got all the icing. I didn't have enough to go around it, but I had enough to go on top and in the middle. Well, the picture that you showed me that you were making didn't have icing on the sides. It was just like a crumble. It yeah. had, the, had the icing on yeah. top. And now I'm fixing to make the crumble. So make the crumble and then we'll come in and look at it in a minute, okay? Anyway, so we thought about doing some kind of meetup or looky there. Oh my gosh. American by pop up William something. I can't see all of it. 
Uh, $50 super chat. Oh, you guys are Gosh, blowing my crazy. mind. That's crazy. Um, Thanks. I'm like blushing. I, I don't know. It's kind of a, it's kind They're of weird. from Ireland, from Ukraine. Oh Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Um, it's crazy. Yeah, that's awesome. I don't know how many people are watching this. I can't see. Um, 418. I had to move my hat in front of the lens just right. <laughs> Anyways, I totally lost track of what I was saying. Um, yeah, I don't even <sighs> So, anyway, Dutch is supposed to be bringing us some fresh pork from a pig he's raising in exchange for deer during deer season. Then Emily came out. We're talking about Emily's cake. I'm lost. All these super oh chats. Oh, the meetup. We were going to do a meetup. Somebody yeah, right there. That's uh, 2 dollars super chat. Try Gulf Shores Orange Beach for summertime. We've driven through there. We really like Pensacola a lot better. Not Nothing against Orange Beach and Gulf Shores by any means, but the farther east you go, the prettier the water is. But uh, we thought about doing some kind of meet and greet because we have so many followers in the Pensacola. Hey, thanks, James, for the dollar super yeah. chat. Um, thought about doing a meet and greet. I, I talked about it and contemplated it, and several people reached out to us and wanted to, to hang out on the beach or something, and I just, we just kept it a vacation, and that was it. Um, we didn't really want to bring everything else into it, so it was just a getaway for us. We posted a few videos while we were there, mm -hmm. and I had several people say, don't even worry about posting videos while you're there. Don't worry about all that. Um, but it's not like it was that much work, really. I mean, a 15-minute video, you're seeing 15 minutes of our of our day, and we did one every other day, so it's not that bad. Got another crew. Got another visitor. Who's coming out? Say what's up. What's up? Hi. You don't, that's it? Hey, look at all these super chats. You got all kinds of super chats up here. OMG. <laughs> There's 444 people watching you right now. Anything you want to say? No. Summer's no. here. You're out of school. So what are you going to be doing um, for the next couple months? Sitting around with my dad. <laughs> Whatever he's doing. Sitting around with your dad. What do you want to do? Over the next couple of months, any anything you want to do that tell, we can film for YouTube? What you really want to do? Plant watermelons. And what else? Where do you want to go? Print, um, the Bahamas. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know about that. Yeah. I popped off a long time ago, back. I don't know, six or eight months ago, and. Popped off to my family and said, because they were, we were joking about how much money you can make on YouTube and how much our channel was making and all that. And I was kind of had low expectations and they were like, we need to go to the Bahamas. We want to go to the Bahamas because that's where Deer Meat for Dinner, who's one of Houston's favorite channels, does, they spend a lot of time down there. So he watches them a bunch. And then we watch another channel called um, Tula's. Tula's Endless Summer. It's a young couple that live on a boat and they spend like months in the Bahamas. So we've watched a lot of Bahama videos. And my family was like, Dad, if you ever make, my wife and kids, they were like, hey, if you ever make $5,000 in one month on YouTube, you got to take us to the Bahamas. I was like, oh yeah, sure. No problem. Well, yeah, I'll do that. Hey, thanks, Jonathan, for the super chat. Super chat. Oh, there's oh another one. L. Gibson, $25 super Thank chat. You. More flowers. You can oh. never have enough flowers. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I popped off and was like, yeah, it doesn't matter because we'll never make 5000 in a month. Hey, Dave. Another super Thank chat. Thank you. Holy moly, you guys are awesome. But uh, I kind of had to eat my words like two months later, maybe. Yep. Uh, and you did. Uh, I I'm going to post a video probably in the next three or four videos, kind of covering the subject. Back in January, I did a video kind of discussing YouTube income because everybody's like, it's like taboo. Like no matter, people, at least in America, don't like to talk about how much money they make. And I do, it doesn't bother me. My salary for my real job is public information. You can look, you can Google how much does an Oklahoma State Trooper make and it'll show you exactly how much I make. So I've always been comfortable with people knowing how much I make. And uh, back in January, I did a video talking about my goals for the year with my YouTube income. And uh, so if you look it up on Social Blade, if you guys are familiar with the website called Social Blade, you can look at graphs of every YouTube channel and views and subscribers and all that stuff. And um, in January, I thought, man, we're doing great. We were about right here. February, it went like this. And then March, it went like this. April, it went like this. And May, it was like this. And um, thanks, James. 
it's been super incredible. Chat. It's been insane um, how much success our channel's had over the last five months. And um, I'm gonna post a video talking about it because one of the major goals for my financial life for 2019, um, I had a goal that I announced in that video that by the end of 2019, I was gonna have something done and it's already been accomplished yep. in five months, not 12. So um, anyways, then we'll move on to the next goal, but I'll post a video about that. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You'll have to wait and see, unless you remember. <laughs> but anyways, what else? We um, have a, we have a comments, someone said so you're wow. heading to the golden 100,000. Uh, yeah, so Dutch just got his, well, he hasn't got his uh, silver play button yet, but he did get the confirmation email and a little picture. Uh, another friend of mine, Jack Motley from Yak Motley, the YouTube channel, Yak Motley. You're struggling there, babe. Well, it wouldn't move. He just got his silver play button in the mail, like yesterday, and we're not far behind. We're at 97,000. Um, it's incredible. It blows my mind. Like, how, how's that possible? Oh, I'm just... No. It's crazy. It's, it's insane what YouTube has done for our family and what YouTube continues to do for our family and the blessings that, that you guys, I mean, you know, we were going on vacation and ran into a family in Louisiana. They were from Texas, we're from Oklahoma, and we met at a, a Chick-fil-A Chick in Louisiana yeah. and they recognized us. And uh, it was just really cool to get to see like little kids' faces light up. They literally look at you or me or us or whatever as- Mainly just him and Houston. Well, because we're the yeah we're the faces of the channel yeah. most of the time, but they look at you with this look like they just saw Michael Jordan or Shaquille O'Neal, <laughs> like did. the the like the look that I would have had on my face when I was ten years old if Shaq walked up <laughs> is the look that I get from kids in a Chick Fil A in Louisiana, or you know yesterday we were at Emily's softball game and a family come up to us and there's this little girl she was so sweet I don't know if you saw after the game. So the dad and the son came up and introduced herself. And uh, <laughs> after the game, the little girl didn't come over before. She didn't see us. After the game, she was just like, I, I had to go talk to her because yeah. she was just starstruck. It was crazy. And There was a super uh, chat. Yeah, I missed yeah, a super David. chat. David Poole, I appreciate it. 999 super chat. You guys are, Jade, man, you guys are Jade? awesome. Go down, pull it down. So many comments, guys. I'm sorry. Jade, Jade Fire. Fire. Thank you. Um, someone said, have you gotten the meat back from the crazy heifer? No, not yet. Not yet. They said, when we took her in and dropped her off, so they, they kill, the, the way our processor works, the day you bring them in and drop them off, they, they kill them immediately, skin them, eviscerate, and um, they hang, they cut them, so you got two halves of beef, and they'll hang them in the freezer. Um, and they'll leave them hang in the cooler for about two weeks before they actually process the meat. So hey, she thanks, said it would John. be two to three weeks before it was completely done. So we should be should be getting a call in the next few days. Um, she was eight, 815, 830 pounds. So we'll have a freezer full of meat for a while. Scroll, scroll back. Oh. Scroll back, what do you wanna see? Uh, keep going, what's that one? John Gardner, Super Chat. Um, so many comments. I don't even know where to start. It's crazy. Um, someone said, when are you doing Big Mac? When are we going to process Big Mac? Well, he's a lot younger than the heifer was. So, was that thunder? I think that was thunder. He's a lot younger than what the crazy heifer was. Um, he's not anywhere near big enough to process yet. And I actually sold him. So the what I did when I got that crazy heifer, she was wild and crazy and needed. We, it's, it's not good to put one cow by theirself and unless it's like a bottle baby that was raised and got other, um, other uh, cows or other livestock around. It's not good to have them by theirself unless they're like a like Big Mac. He's as okay by himself, but he's got the goats and bear and everybody. The crazy heifer, I needed to get a calf in there with her to keep her company and um, that's why we got Big Mac. And before we ever even brought him home, I already had him sold to my stepbrother. And so the game plan was he was paying for Big Mac, which would cover the cost of the processing on our heifer, basically. 
So he out. belongs to my stepbrother. I'm just gonna go ahead and feed him out for him. I'm paying for all the feed. He's just gonna buy him when, uh, when he's ready to go to the processor, but he's probably only about 400 pounds. He's got a ways to go. Uh, $5 super chat from, what does it say? T.S. T.S. Holly. Halting. Just Halting. bought my camera to start my channel. Hopefully gonna put one up next week about our urban, urban homestead and getting out of the city. That's cool. So, here, here's a little advice I, I, I tell a lot of people. They all, I get, and I'm glad you brought that up on your super chat there. There's another super chat, Homestead Dad, $1.99. Um, people always say, one of these days I wanna start a YouTube channel. One of these days when we get out of the city, I wanna start a YouTube channel. Or when we move here, or when we get this, or when we do this. Man, don't wait, don't wait. There's no reason to to wait if you want to start a youtube channel start where you're at use your phone we're videoing this on my iphone right now um start where you're at and document the process don't wait until you're there people yeah. people will love to see that process they want to know how to get started or you know there's a lot of channels out there that, that get their start while they're still whatever they're doing maybe they're living in the city and wanting to move to the country and they document that process it's so much fun to watch and uh, don't, you don't have to be perfect to start. Just start. We're having quite the fight oh, inside. Yeah. All right. Um, Ellen said, hey, I'm hoping y'all missed or missed by any of the intense weather in your area. Thanks for turning me on to Gardening Guy when you... Thanks for turning me on Gardening Guy where you got... Oh, to Leon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we missed all of the intense weather. There was nothing bad here at all. We got really, really lucky. Yeah. Um, I went to a, I'm on our honor guard here. Thank with you, the, With the highway patrol here. And uh, so that's guys, there's about 10 of us from all over the state. And anytime there's a retired um, trooper that passes away or a law enforcement funeral, we go. So it's kind of cool. You get about 10 guys that meet up from all different parts of the state. And uh, we had a, a funeral today and I was talking to some of the guys that live out in Eastern Oklahoma. and they still have major highways that are underwater, under several oh, feet of water. James Knight, $2 super chat. Dutch should do a catch and cook and eat with crayons. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, anyway, so Eastern Oklahoma, um, those guys are still underwater in a lot of places. It's, uh, it's going down. I think it's not as, as bad as it was, but here, our creek never even got up. Everything was good here, so. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Tina Lorenzo, 49.99 super chat. You need to do, you need to go see um, Deer Meat for dinner and have him take you out on a fishing trip. Plus he will do whatever you want. Your two channels are the best. I, I would absolutely. Oh my gosh, yeah. That would blow my mind. That would be amazing. Um, he, he responded to a yeah, Instagram last deal. last year when uh, Houston no it was on it was on YouTube oh, last okay. year Houston loves Deer Meat for Dinner he loves that channel and and, and Thanks, Robert Jansen Arrington's a great guy chat. um but you're talking about it like our channel is down here at you know almost a hundred thousand he's at one point five million there's just it, that's a huge difference that's a big difference in channels um, it's not that easy just to reach out and say hey buddy take us fishing it's just not I don't know. If he ever invited us, I would definitely yes. fly to Florida. I would fly my family to Florida for that experience because it would be, it would be um, incredible for sure. Yeah. And Houston, I can't imagine Florida. what it would do for our channel, our channel, to be on a 1.5 million sub channel. But aside from that, just to get Houston out there would be worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So. Um, We've been on here 23 minutes. Wow. Discovered, Discovered your channel, went to the meetup, bought a high tunnel and buckets, planted squash yesterday. Thanks for inspiring me. Y'all are awesome in Hera, Oklahoma. Oh my gosh, Hera, that's too cool. Holy cow. Yeah. Um, I've You've got, got a cousin. I've got a, a cousin up there. He's the, uh, he's a principal at the school in Hera. But that's crazy. That's awesome that you watch our channel and then you come to the meetup and you bought a high tunnel. That's, that is. That's, that's awesome. so cool. I know Leon was... He was blown away by the turnout and the, the every, just the response from people at, at his business that day. It was crazy. Um, get Houston to work his charm and you might get an invite. <laughs> so what he did last year, he tried hard last he did. year. Um, so 
Someone said, what did you study in college? So I've got a degree in criminal justice and she's got a degree in education. I do. Yeah. And uh, it, it paid off well for her <laughs> photography business. It sure did. <laughs> <laughs> if I could go back, all right, I worked an accident the other day on a college kid and uh, he was, I think he was going to school at Oklahoma State. No, it was OU, it was OU is where it was. And they have a new um, major, a new program this year for entrepreneurship. You can get a degree in, in entrepreneurship, which that wasn't even a possibility when I was in college. I can't, and he was telling me about some of the things they go through and some of the stuff, and I can't imagine the classes and the training he's going through how that would benefit me as a as a YouTuber. <laughs> oh, that's freaking funny, Calvin. But what Calvin said. Maybe you can get her to teach Dutch something. <laughs> that's funny. She she's been trying for like uh, I don't know, a couple of years now to teach him to say subscribe. Yeah, I could get him get him some grammar lessons for <laughs> sure. What you got, Houston? What grade is Houston? He's first. Uh oh, is that icing. How's Sissy's cake coming? I need some icing. Oh, you <gasps> took it all. I took it. Mm. Let's walk in. Leftovers. Hey, let's walk in and uh, see what Emily's cake looks like. She messed up on the step. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can we come look, Emily? Yes. What's wrong? You don't look very enthused. I messed up the crumble. How'd you mess up the crumble? Because that said a fourth of a cup. <laughs> I thought it went right there. So I used the whole stick. Oh, so you got to restart and do your crumble again. So here's your cake though, it looks pretty. So it's supposed to have a crumble all over the top, huh? That was a, what was it? A lemon cake with a cream cheese lemon filling. Icing. Yeah. Cool. All right, well, never mind. Hang on. Hang on. Should I make the crumble or just do lemon zest? No, you need to do crumble. Okay. She messed up on the crumble. We're still learning, we're still learning. They wanna eat well, yeah, I'm sure it does. It's all butter. I bet it's tasty. Uh, well, Houston was behind me. Here, I'll just leave this for you. Okay, leave that for me. I'll see what all the great people have to say. Oh, this thing is. Hold on, let me go back. All right, let me see. Grew up in Anadarko. Let's see. Anadarko. I watch a YouTuber from Anadarko. He just had a baby too. Um, Dylan oh, Young. Dylan, yeah. Yeah, he lives in Anadarko. Go check him out on YouTube. It's Dylan Young Vlogs. He basically he does a lot of um, instructional videos for drones and stuff. But he does a lot of vlogs. They go. Him and his wife. They just had a baby, but they go to Mexico a lot. Yeah. Their vlogs. He. he if I could edit like him, I think my channel would be three times what it is now. That guy is super talented on editing. Mm. What'd you do, go way back? I don't know how far back. I didn't go oh. that far back. Um, someone said, I went to school with Dylan and his sister. I guess that's probably who said they lived in Anadarko. Someone said, um, what do you use for editing software? I just use iMovie. I have, we have um, a couple different Apple computers and iMovie's the free software with Apple. I don't use anything fancy. I don't do Adobe Premiere or anything like that. Just uh, pretty much basic free editing software. And it's worked for over 600 videos so far. <laughs> uh, let's see. Can you do a, a catfish? Can you do catfish catch and cook? Well, if we could catch some catfish. We gotta go catch the catfish first. Yeah. Takes great. time, takes time. We were gonna go eat some catfish down the road tonight. Mm -hmm. but well, we got a softball game. Ball game time's kind of. Mm. Love eating some catfish. Uh, someone said, what about a microphone system? So I use a Rode video mic on my DSLR. So you, there's several different um, external microphones. I've never used a, Houston, you're being rude, dude. I've never used a lavalier mic or a wireless microphone system. I've always just used a shotgun microphone on oh, my camera. I got a juicer. What's it say? We just got we just got our juicer that you linked to, ready to unbox it. Now we need juicing ideas, recipes, LOL. Thanks for the input. You will absolutely love that juicer yeah. if you will stick with it. 
Yeah. You have to stick with it. You don't build don't up. just um, go out and buy a bunch of vegetables and juice them, and then the first time you drink it, go. Eh. Yep. You won't like it if Start you do that. Start with fruit. Add in the vegetables. Mm -hmm. um, lots of cucumbers are great. Uh, we love apples, cucumbers, beets, stuff like that are great. Um, we juice all kinds of greens, but anyways, you'll love the juicer if you'll stick with it. Just, just stick with it. Um, someone, hey, do you like do you like fishing, Houston? Do you like fishing? I love fishing. <laughs> what kind of fishing do you like? Catfishing. I think you like any kind any. of fishing. Yep. He likes any kind of fishing. He likes eating any kind of fish. So. I like Not catching. Every That's kind what of I like. Fish. Yes. I don't like the red snapper when it's fully cooked. When it's old body is cooked. Oh, oh, the big one. When we were at the beach, we went to uh, a shark fishing party. I, I posted a video about that, and uh, that was kind of put on by Angler Up Charters, which is Brant Peacher, Angler Up on YouTube, and several other guys. They had a, it, I, they, they really went overboard on this um, shark fishing party. But it was basically they were bringing in a ton of investors, and so there was a lot of. Like attorneys and doctors. People but anyways, they cooked an entire red snapper. It w they had it catered. It wasn't cooked on the beach. But like, if you go back and look at the thumbnail, it's the thumbnail is Emily standing in front of this thing, and uh, Houston much. was not a fan because the face, <laughs> the fish still had a face, and I don't think he liked that. What are you doing with that? He's fixing to cut your flowers. You cut my flowers. I'm gonna. Well, I was gonna say I'll cut your hair. But... <laughs> Speaking yeah. of cutting hair. Houston? It's time for me to cut my hair. No. Mm -mm. The high and tight. Houston wants a high and tight. We're in a little My bad. mom said she would give me a no. high and tight after the beat. I didn't say I would. I said I would think about it. Because I don't want. And you're want... still not done. I know. You're still not done. I'm not a done. woman From is the never beat. done thinking. Hey, hey, yelling. quit yelling. Right here. Quit From yelling. From the beat. Still. Let's see. Let's see what the uh, consensus is. I don't All right. Cut. So there's a yes. Yeah, not a bad idea. No haircut. Um, no, don't cut his hair. Nope. Nope. Somebody in Jacksonville, Florida. No. Houston on your. Houston on your losing battle. You're <laughs> on a losing battle. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a yes. So what I everyone else doesn't really know is, when he was three, we we cut it off. Like it was, it was pretty short. It wasn't a high and tight, but it was short. And I cried and I didn't like it at all. And I said, never again while well, I cut <laughs> it. But now never, he, he wants it again. done again. Samson, she's yeah. afraid if she cuts your hair, you'll lose your power. Yeah, I don't want you to lose your power. <laughs> it's just so pretty and I just really curly. hate it. I just no, really you hate don't. It. Yes, well, I do. Hey, I will say this. When we were at the beach, when we were in Florida, everyone down there thought <laughs> Houston was a Florida native. They yeah. were like, that kid. He's a surfer. He's a surfer dude that lives on the yeah. beach. Huh. Yeah. Yep. That's why I need uh, Actually, there. even before we left, do you remember when we were in the store that day? And that lady at the register said, you look like you belong surfing at the beach. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, well, I'm fixing to go there. Didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what time is it? It is 5 Okay. We're probably not going to stay on here too much longer. We've been on 33 you're, minutes, you're so I don't want to stay on here forever. But, guys, you, you guys are amazing. All the super you know. chats. Uh -oh. I, I don't know how much well. money we've made off of this one video, but we really do appreciate it. I, yeah. I promise yeah, you. Yeah, I love it, too. I love <laughs> it's, all of y'all uh, out awesome. there that watch us. They're trying to help us raise money to get us to the Bahamas. Really? <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh... Well, once you said we could go to the beach if you get 7,000 um, money. No, not on YouTube. It was 5,000. 5,000. Well, I took you to the beach. I did. We went to the beach. We just got back. They all saw us at the beach. It'd be just the same if we went to the Bahamas, right? It's not the same, is it? <laughs> yes, it is the no, same. The Bahamas not. is yeah. the same. Not as no, cool. it's but not the pay same. a lot more. So it would, be, it would be an interesting lifestyle. You know, I watch a lot of YouTube channels and... And there's a there's a whole science about building a business Gilmore. around. Look at that. Y'all need to have a meet and greet in Gilmore. You know what Gilmore, where Gilmore, Texas? What movie? Uh, it's a football movie. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. Tweeter. 
Yes, Varsity Blues. Uh, Varsity Blues. Gilmer, Texas. Anyways, what I was saying I was, was I do, I watch a ton of YouTube and I watch a lot of channels. Um, I was wrong. His name was Gilmer. Oh. The coach was Gilmer. I don't know. I Anyways. Did. Sorry, guys. It would be really cool to, you know, if, if you made your full-time career around traveling and the, you know, going and seeing different things around the world and hunting and fishing and yeah, that would be cool. Not there. Got to finish out what oh, we're doing we here first. Chat, super chat, right there. Super chat, James. James Doyle. I think he's already left a super chat, maybe, maybe twice. Thank you. That's awesome. All right, let's see. We need a tour of your new patio, of your new patio plants from Leon. So. Tomorrow's video, it'll be out first thing, bright and early tomorrow morning, um, will be us putting together all of her potted plants, um, minus, uh, I say, most of those. She's bought several more since that video, but I'll, uh, I showed them at the beginning, but here we go. We'll might as well, might as well just walk around and show you. Self-wicking tub, made out of a cattle molasses tub. So we put vines in the bottom, flowers, shrub, flowers. I don't remember what that one's called. I bet somebody could tell me what that's called on here though. Anybody know? I can't remember what it was called. I know that one's a hibiscus. I know that one's a lazy dog right there. <laughs> Plumeria. Plumeria is what that's yeah. called. It's really pretty. Looks mm -hmm. really good. Yep. See? But that was a molasses tub. This was a store-bought pot, but it's plastic. Did not have a hole in the bottom, so Bella, really. Bella. We're making self-wicking tubs out of those, just like in the garden. But we've got uh, a lot more to go. All this stuff has to be potted. And I don't know where we're going to put it all. But we're probably going to have at least, so we'll have one, two, three, four, five. There's two more yellow pots, so that's seven, eight, nine. I don't know. You're going to have flowers everywhere. That was the goal. A spot of color was the goal. No. She told me a spot of color was what she wanted on the patio. I'm pretty sure I said splash. Okay. And splash would, would mean bigger because splashes are big. I can't keep the, tri the tripod still. A splash is not what she got. Well, I we couldn't go. decide and he wouldn't do it for me, so. Yeah, so when you so. figure out where you're going to put them all, it mm -hmm. will look good. It I will. don't I don't disagree. So it will. Emily, you're covered in icing. Yep. Good gravy. What's the matter? I did the right amount and it's still it did the same exact thing. <laughs> Sounds like Emily needs some help with her her um, brown sugar crumble. There's no brown sugar. I thought it had a little brown sugar. Oh, it was vanilla, powdered mm -hmm. sugar, butter. I don't know. We'll help you with the crumble in a minute. It's not Crumble. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have oh man! Sugar. All right. So, what else? I think that about covers it. We're probably gonna six hundred and twenty-two. Yep, six hundred and twenty-two people watching. That's, that's just insane. Could you imagine? All right. Could you imagine how it would feel if we were standing here and there were six hundred people out there talking, listening to us just talk on our patio? <laughs> that's crazy. Kind Look, at, you're getting embarrassed right now. Yeah. Like, she's turning red See, right now. Okay. Oh, that's right. It was in West Canaan. Kilmer, or Gilmer was, I think was the coach. Yeah. Maybe it was Kilmer. Now that now people no. are saying that's not a plumeria bush. Oh, well. Um, I didn't go back and read all those. I don't know. I can't remember. That one didn't have a plant tag on it. I can't remember. So what happened was she went to Leon's. And he was like, here, you just need some of these and these and these. And then she went back and he said, well, you need these, 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 and these. And then she went back and you need these, 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 and these. And yeah. I, I don't know what all she got. <laughs> a lot. I got a lot. So I will. It'll look good. Yep. All right. So anyways, anything else you want to add? Anything you want to say? Mm, nope. 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 That's it. You're peeling. You're yeah. tan. Yeah, you're, look at you. Your sunburn's peeling. I need to go back. It'd make it better. She's been away from the beach too far or too long already. Mm. Yeah. If anyone has our beach property for rent, I need to know about it. <laughs> Everyone. I can't uh, just I can't just 
you know, suck it up and admit that I might not be able to go back to the beach the rest of the year, so. You know, there are a lot of uh, YouTube channels out there who are considered a travel vlog and companies and businesses and property owners pay them to come stay at their property Ooh. and vlog about it and share it with people. Oh, someone should reach out to us. That would be nice, wouldn't it? That would it? be amazing. Who's got a beach house? Yes. Who needs some advertisement? That's right. I'll do free pictures. <laughs> 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 oh, man. <clears throat> All right, that's probably uh, probably long enough. We've been blabbing on forever here. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of fun. Mandeville, I love these live right. videos. Mandevilla. Mm -hmm. That's what Leon said. Yep, yep. That's what he called that. Mm. Ah, there you go. It's a Mandevilla. I said it will grow back. Are you there? Yeah. We're going to keep it fertilized because Leon said pour the fertilizer to it and it'll keep on blooming. So, right. anyways. No, what stay, else? don't end it. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, it's, I mean, I could sit here and talk to the camera for a couple hours. It wouldn't bother me, and, but I don't need to make a two hour long video and we've got stuff to do and we got a ball game tonight. Emily's got a softball game. She's got to go pitch. She's the only yeah. pitcher on the team right now. Yeah. So that's in a little, in what, I don't know, an hour and a half or so. So we've got to go do that. But anyways, Kenzie said, who's that pretty woman beside <laughs> you? I'm Where? Stranger. Ah! <laughs> Jerk. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's what I have to live with. Yep. 13 years now. You people have no idea. Oh my goodness. Oh, they have a pretty good idea. I've got 600 videos on YouTube. <laughs> They've got a pretty good idea. <laughs> At least what I want them to think. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. I don't really show them my real sweet side. Sweet side. Yeah. I'm painting the butt side. All you right. don't show that. What else? Oh, now he wants to get off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh. Quit while I'm ahead, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Quit while I'm ahead. This is my channel. I've, hey, I've tried to talk her into starting a YouTube channel. I've tried and tried, and she could spin it however. I could be like, kids, kids screaming. There goes Bella shaking the table. Tried to get her to start a YouTube channel, and she could spin it like she's got this crazy, weird husband, and she could do whatever she wanted to. I don't care. Um, but she just wouldn't do it. But have you noticed, have you guys noticed how much more comfortable she's getting on camera? She was on pretty much the whole video yesterday at Leon's. And then tomorrow's video is all about DJ and her flowers. And she's really um, blossomed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, on camera, anyways. He's got jokes. Uh, hey, I'm telling you guys, you need to start a YouTube channel. I'm, I'm, all right, so I'm listening to an, a book on, on Audible right now. That's what I do when I'm at work, when I'm driving around, is listen to audio books on Audible. And uh, <sighs> YouTube and the, the money you make from YouTube's cool. Turning it into a business, and like I've been putting it off, I need to get it set up as an LLC. She's got her photography business set up under an LLC and need to do that for this. But at least I'm listening to this book that's... Um, it's called Tax-Free Wealth. It was recommended by my friend Jack, well, Jack Motley. And uh, it, it's, it blows my mind. I mean, like, we do well on our taxes. Like, we've always, like, been smart with our taxes and planned and prepared. And um, if you are smart with your taxes, it'll save you a lot of money. But we've always had a farm, so we've always had lots of tax write-offs, tax deductions and stuff. But when you start talking about a business and things that can be business related and something like a YouTube channel. If you if you do if you listen to me about anything at all, if you have any kind of hobby, any kind of passion, any kind of knowledge that you can share with people, start a YouTube channel because it's a business. Turn it into a business and then any expenses are tax deductions that go come off of your income that you would make from YouTube and things like meals for business meetings if you and your co-worker wanted to have a business meeting at a nice restaurant it's technically a tax deduction your vehicle your home office your phone your all the stuff you would oh. use for what That's an interesting comment oh i'm not gonna <laughs> don't repeat it <laughs> <laughs> um yeah that needs to be deleted 
Got it. Good job, Wheat Tree. Appreciate that. I love having uh, some trustworthy um, moderators. But anyways, so there's so many things with a YouTube channel that you would do in your normal day-to-day -day life that can become a tax write-off, a tax deduction. Um, I mean, you know, we went to Florida for a family trip, but I made several videos while we were there. She did um, two other families' pictures. Three. Well, ours. No, I did three other than ours. Okay. Plus ours, yeah. So she did, she had a whole, I mean, considered a whole day of work down there. So there's things that we did on vacation that are business expenses. Not the whole trip. We're not going to try no. to, we wouldn't try to expense the whole trip. You have to spend, um, I think 50% of your day has to be devoted to work for it to be considered the whole day a, a work. So four hours would be, a, you know, half of your work day. Well, that's easy if she's taking several families' pictures plus editing and mm. preparation and set up and all that. And then if we went to go grab a bite to eat, that meal would be a business expense. If it, you had to drive to where it was, there's, you know, mileage and fuel. And it's just crazy. So that book, it's, that's not my knowledge. I'm not sharing my knowledge. This comes from a book I'm listening to on Audible called um, Tax-Free Wealth. I believe is what it's called. It's crazy. It's awesome. Um, but anyways, rambling, oh, rambling, sorry. rambling. If you take anything from me, start a YouTube channel, turn it into a business, and your hobby becomes a tax write-off. How cool is that? If you want to start a fishing channel and go fishing every day, your fishing poles, your boat, your fuel, your truck, your cameras, all that stuff that you would um, have anyways if you're a fisherman, becomes a business expense. Think about it. It's cool. Yeah. All right, what else? I'm rambling. That's all right. Sometimes you do that. Sometimes I ramble. Yep. No, I like the live videos when they, you know, because they can because ask Because of the interactions. Questions. Yeah, and so I always like answering questions, even like yeah. in school and. She's, you know, you, without the live video, if I just put the camera in her face, she's just like, like Talladega Nights, he's like, I don't know if it's just my hands. Uh, just my hands. <laughs> uh, Kids are screaming again. Oh, jeez. There they go. Uh, so, yeah, the live videos are fun because of the interaction. It's cool when you have people watching and you can talk and answer questions. Dang, Dad, Ed oh Kirkpatrick gosh. said, let's wrap this up with another super chat. Good advice, Good advice Daniel. <laughs> I, so I don't know how to take that, Ed. Is that, yeah, is that like, us hey, guys, enough. see you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. I really do, Ed. You're amazing. That's that's awesome. So, anyways. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I'm gonna... We're going to end it? Sure. So, you want to make out? The question. <laughs> all right, guys. That's all we got. We'll wrap it up. We'll end the video. And uh, bright and early tomorrow morning, you can see her making self-wicking pots for her flowers. They're not just for um, vegetables. Actually, Leon put out a whole video on his channel, Gardening with Leon. Look at Bear back there. Yeah. Uh, go check out Leon's video. He does like a little tour of all of his tubs that have all kinds of different flowers and stuff. And so that's what we're we're following his lead. We're, this is not our idea. We're not taking this and claiming it to be our our knowledge. It's our knowledge. Our yeah, we had to explain that anyways. word to Houston the other night. So, anyways, guys, I guess that's all we got. Thanks for watching. Five hundred and fifty people. Yeah. We will uh, see you on the next video, I guess. I'm gonna let you do it. Like you can what do your whole, you do the whole ending. I'm putting you on the spot. So what's the whole ending? I don't know. Come up with something good. Oh, I can't. I can't do that on the spot. It's a live video. Hmm. I don't know. I have no idea. You can't do that. All I, right. I'm a planner. You All can't, right. You can't. So do that we'll at just me. end it, guys. <laughs> Y'all have a great evening. We love you. We appreciate you. Um, it's awesome. Love this. Love this community we've got on YouTube.